What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Modern Deck Critique here on Twitch or YouTube, one of the two. And today we're playing a Black White Fogs deck that was submitted by Swamp Dog. Uh, this has been, we actually played this earlier and uh, he refined it a little bit and now it's looking uh, a little bit different. We have Rakdos Charm, we have Sleeper Agent, which is super interesting. You give it to them and then they take two every turn. And then you're fogging anyway, so you really don't care. It's just an extra two damage every turn to go with your Rakdos Charm and your Batwing Broom and your Trespassers Curses. Uh, you also have uh, Forbidden Orchard and Vesuva to make sure they take damage from all three of these. And one of the most recent things that was said is Ensnaring Bridge feels like a dead card. Batwing and Rakdos are in the game on turn like four or five. <clears throat> I don't know if that's true, but we do have 62 cards, so we have to cut something. So I would actually cut these. If, if he's saying they feel like dead cards, we can take those out. And now we get two extra slots. And there's only 20 lands. There are two expedition maps. I kind of want to make sure we hit our land drops though, right? Hmm. <clears throat> I might just play one more land. Actually, is our only way to cast Rakdos to return with Forbidden Orchard? Hmm. That's a little rough. So yeah, we're definitely adding like a uh, Blood Crypt, perhaps? Actually, maybe we just add two lands. We add Blood Crypt and uh, Sacred Foundry. And then we have six sources of red. Nope, eight, 12, a lot. Yeah, all right, let's do that. <clears throat> yeah, I like that better. Blood Sea, taking a while to, all right. Probably should just named Crypt. What's Blood Fast? The previous version did have Phyrexian Arena. Oh, Arguel is Blood Fast. Uh, I don't know if we want that. We don't have any creatures to sacrifice. The only side that's relevant is the front side. Um, I'm going to play it like this first to see how it goes. I just made this. This was the sideboard we had last time. So I just actually used the same sideboard. So we're going to find out uh, what we need. Nope, that's not what we're doing. Based on what we did last time. Zagon, thank you so much for the sub. Ooh, welcome back. Long time no see, buddy. <clears throat> Black White Frogs, and now I'm a little let down. That's not even a real thing. I think there's like two frogs in Magic. I think it's like Spore Frog and uh, Gitrog Monster. There's probably more, but... Those are the only ones I can think of. <clears throat> Type line frog. Oh my god, there's 21 frogs. Oh, because they errated all of like the aneurids, like aneurid brush hopper and bark ripper, to be frog beasts. Aneurid scavenger, aneurid merc diver, aneurid bloated, bloated toad, chub toad. Chub toad was errated from toad to frog. Good to know. <clears throat> Croconora, which is a crocodile frog. Frogmite is a frog. Haze frog. Morgue toad. Noxious toad. Omni Omnibian. Plax caster frogling. Species gorger. Spore frog. Get rog monster. There are way more frogs than I had anticipated. Most of them are blue, black, and green. They are sulti. And Yargle. All 
All right, let's see if our opponent's like... Uh... Yeah, see, this is why you want more than one. More than 20 lands. We just can't keep this hand, really, because it doesn't do anything for us. Uh... See, the problem with the deck is that if you don't have Forbidden Orchard, you're at the mercy of... You're at the mercy of their things. I can't go to five here because then we just don't have enough fogs. You know what I'm saying? Ancestral vision. I also worry about the control decks here. Snapcaster. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. <clears throat> Joke's on you, opponent. I'll never have fun. Anyone landed, you can cast the entire hand. <laughs> uh, yes, but the hand doesn't do anything by itself, Alan. I, I can't tell if you're actually trolling or not. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Get a little dude. I will get a, another orchard. Orchards for days. For holy days. My god, we're gonna make so many so many dudes. The deck is Turbo Fog and curves out at three, but unless you have ways to actually win the game, you're just going to be throwing away, oh, I did six fogs. Okay, I didn't have a seventh fog, you win. Like, you have to actually win the game. Just because you have a bunch of fogs in your hand, like, you can't do anything with that. You know what I mean? Opt. All right, that's better than the counter spell getting, getting hit. One of the big questions I had last time we played the deck was whether you actually just use this for the sake of using it, or whether you don't. Because if they hit you with a Batwing, if you have like a Batwing Broom or something, like, <clears throat> you're going to get value. But if you don't, then you're just forcing yourself, you get fewer blocks to find those things. Fewer attacks, I should say. We could also have Creeping Tar. We could have copied Creeping Tar Pit and then start attacking with Creeping Tar Pit too. That is also a viable win condition. What does Witchbane Orb do against us? Batwing Room doesn't target. Each player loses a life for each attacking creature. Uh, this doesn't target. Oh, target opponent creates a 1-1. One, one. I guess it does. Interesting. I mean, we're a white we're a white deck. We can deal with artifacts if that's really a problem. <clears throat> I'm not sure it would be. <clears throat> oh, it see the the uh, it was like a, a paragraph long, so I was like this sounds like a genu genuine criticism, not a joke. Like if you were like just hope they don't run Witchbane orb. I would have been like, hmm. But, like, 
it was very well it was very well written so i was like oh this gotta be he's 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 expressing a genuine criticism see now we're gonna take a hit Or not to take a hit, but we're gonna make a make us some guys. Make us some guys, huh? Next time I'll down <laughs> Yeah, do that. You gotta. Cause if the syntax is high, if it like if you if it's if it's a real like well constructed joke, then I just feel like you're 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 talking. Then I just feel like we're having a, a conversation. The problem is if they have more than one counter spell. It's bad news, Bears. I would say add Boseiju, but like, I don't know. There you go. I have more guys. Oh, they're discarding cards. You didn't even play this Grim Lava Mancer. That's interesting. Trespassers Curse. Holy day. Okay. Like we have to have we have to draw like four of these for them to actually get killed, right? Avon Nimble Richard Obstructionist. That's his full name. He just goes by NIMBY. What up, no less than a god? The chromium caller. Make another dude give you all the guys. Like this is eight dudes. Our opponent's probably like, dude, what are you doing? For real. Just stop it. You're looking ridiculous right now. This is ridiculous. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Six cards in hand, huh? Can I get a fog city? Our opponent's like, no, seriously, what are you doing? Do I own a car? Yes, of course I own a car. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen creatures. Good lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. They have to have a bunch of counters here. I 
I th the, the problem with this is that you can't undo this. So once you decide to do it, it is done. There's no way this resolves, right? I could pay three. You got it. One, two, six, seventy nine, ten, eleven. Swiffering? Swiffering is pretty silent, right? Like, because Swiffering is literally just moving the little, like, dry pad around. Okay, well, if you got Snapcaster, we're dead. This is just rude. I'm going to add a white here in case we want to use. Yep. All right. So. We're halfway there. Oh, we're definitely not dead. That's for sure. Well, yeah, even the Swiffer wet chest just goes, eh, eh, eh. and then once you spray it, you just move it back and forth. Like, it's not like a constant. I get what you're saying, Chad, okay? I get what you're saying. I'm not going to go over the, we're not, we're not going to have a, a Swiffer semantic discussion here. He's like, you gotta run in fogs eventually, and I'm like, no, I don't. Would you like to pay two? No. Like, all he has to do is turn him sideways every single turn. Solid line, not paying. That's why you guys pay for this. That's why you pay for this high quality content. You like that I use regular mana for that and not. Oh, definitely get baby carrots. Oh, no, big carrots, big carrots. Let's go with big carrots. That sounds amazing. Hey. Back up to 17. Also, big carrots let you hold them and feed them as well if you want to. Oh my god. What if we do it? What if we just win this game right now because they don't have two counter spells that they can cast? That seems amazing, right?
They have to counter this because it, it feels nine. Okay. I mean, we have to do it. If they have it, they have it. Like, it's, that's the bottom line. Yep, they just happen to have three counter spells. So if we, even if we didn't, if we resolve, we play this, we'd get mana leaked. It's, it's whatever. Wow. Three counter spells seems pretty good. I imagine they board all their removal out, so Dark Confidant probably seems pretty good. Take out one map and two sleeper agents, I think. Either way, that was surprisingly close. I, I did not expect us to get that close. I thought we were going to lose a long time ago. And then it turns out, if you can fog them and make like 10, 15 guys for them, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, keep this hand. This hand is great. Yeah, the remand, the remand thing would have been an argument. Like if they had, if their their last counter was a remand, we'd have four man up, so we can play the Rakdos charm, and then replay the Rakdos charm. Um, that was not the case, unfortunately. Spell snare looking real good in this matchup. I'm going to put this down first because I think it has the best chance of uh, sticking around. And if they can't deal with it, it's pretty good. Luke, what's going on, buddy? There's no point in using that. We'll just play Dark Confidant. I assume this is getting countered. That is actually fine. I don't want to play Sleeper Agent yet. Or do I? Now, because we take three... Frank Love's got to talk. Nice to hear it, buddy. I don't post to Instagram as much as I'd like, but I, I always want to. <laughs> Whatever that means. Land. That's not land at all. Hmm. Sticks. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Look at that bird. 15 to 19, we're already winning.
Ancestral version number two. All right. Beautiful. Dark Confidant, you've already paid off in dividends, my friend. This guy. What? This guy. And we get to deal two here? Woo! They're basically dead. Wow, and Matthew, you're right. Chicken Sunday gets spoken of a lot less frequently. Give me a Forbidden Orchard one time. That is not a Forbidden Orchard Magic the Gathering. We're just not playing Sleep Regime because I don't want to take six here. I think Sleep Origin is great with the Ensnaring Bridge plan where you empty your hand. But, like, once you don't have Ensnaring Bridge, you're just like, dang. Forbidden Orchard, where are you at? Do you play any instruments or something like guitar? Thirty-three years of age. Uh, I play guitar loosely. I pick up the guitar and I mess around with it, and that's fun for me. Pretty brutal. That makes it difficult to win. Yep, I'm pretty sure we actually can't win through that. Well, now we just gotta try. I mean, we don't need to grow from the ashes. We can actually just use more expedition maps if we really want that effect. So they're at 11. We just need 7 fogs in order for Sleeper Agent to kill him. Yeah, also, Girl from the Ashes only gets basics, not any land whatsoever. That would be insane if Girl from the Ashes got any lands whatsoever. That card we played in Modern and Standard. All right, well. Sleeper agent doing some work here. We fog, they go to seven, we fog, they go to five, we fog, they go to three. Also, I would sooner just play Sylvan Scrying than... Uh,
This is where the Frexian Arena would help, or the Dark Confidant, because you just want to be able to refill your... Oh, speak of the devil. Every day is Chicken Sunday. I mean, the highest card in our deck is two. So, oh god. Creeping Tarpet? Yeah, that makes sense, because we can actually block the Sleeper Agent and take one here. Guess we're just praying you don't have a Counterspell. Counterspell number 10. Alright, we did it. That's a good one. That's where they lightning bolt us. 100%. Well, they could have lightning bolt Dark Confidant, but there's no reason to do that. So, yeah, cool. Fun game. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> That's good times. Oh, if only they were in the other order. Alright. Well, that was actually pretty okay. Yes, it does not say frogs. It says fogs. Each creature... Are there any cards? Are there any more cards like Rakdos, Rakdos Charm and Batwing Broom? Yes, this is a viewer deck list. That is correct. Um, I also didn't update the list because I'm really bad at that. Uh, I like Noxious Survival for what it does. I don't like having to take two damage to do it. And we also don't have many ways to draw cards. So... Right, 12, 16, there's 24 fogs. Is that too many? I always feel like I want the Dark Confidant in the main deck. The problem is it's got a huge target on its head. Like, it's just their only creature. It's your only creature. So, Fatal Push, Abrupt Decay, um, Lightning Bolts, they all go to the... They all go to the Dark Confidant. And I feel like if you have Sleeper Agent, you actually do want Ensnaring Bridge... We had Phyrexian Arena in the previous version. We don't actually like having that many. Let me see if if uh, if he said anything different. Hmm. Yeah, so the thing is, we can either play Phyrexian Arena or we can play Ensnaring Bridge. We can't really play both because it just doesn't do anything. New Karn also doesn't really do anything. Like, none of these Planeswalkers do anything. And we only have 22 lands, so we're not trying to add a bunch of 4 mana, four mana cards. Like, we're trying to Fog and then kill them with Batwing Broom or Rakdos Charm. Yep, Obnixil is probably not going to be going to be played in the twenty-two land deck. <laughs> still not, still not happening.
Yeah, I don't like Blood Bloodfast is just worse than Arena in this deck. I don't want to pay two mana every single turn when we only have 22 lands. Plus, the two life really matters. Like, you're trying to conserve your life in this deck. So, taking one from Arena or, or potentially zero from Dark Confidant uh, is significantly better than paying two every turn to take two. Like, this deck is, is not a deck you want to have Bloodfast in. We, I mean, like, yeah, I guess we have Anguish for making if they play, like, Alpine Moon. I don't know how Liliana, Lilies, the Lilies are good. The Lilies don't really do anything for us. Hmm. I think you guys are just naming good blue and black, good black and white cards that aren't really relevant to this particular strategy. Like, Liliana the Veil doesn't do anything except for make us discard our own fogs. And we actually want them to amass creatures. We don't want to make them discard their creatures. I want you to, to play your creatures so that I can Rakdos, Charm, or Batwing broom you. Um, it's either Bridge or it's Arena. We can't have both. It's one or the other. So I'm not sure which it is, though. Uh, you don't want Lingering Souls again because you have Rakdos Charm. So you don't want to actually take four off of your own Lingering Souls or more. I don't want to give them more cards. Like, I want them to not have cards because I don't want them to counter my stuff or burn me out. Like, there's a lot of scary decks in Modern that go around what we're doing. Like, um... Like, very few of our cards actually prevent damage from, like, Escape Shift. Um... And we wouldn't be putting Thoughtseize or Inquisition in the main deck because we just don't, like, we don't have room. We put them in the sideboard if we want to really deal with something like that. Hmm. I don't know if I care about Rest in Peace here. If we have if we if we if we run a mass removal effect like a Wrath of God, we have no way to win the game. Then we can't Batwing Broom when we can't Rakdos Charm, so we literally have no more win conditions. Like, I mean like at that point you're just like, well, I'll just kill everything and then you can slowly kill me later. You know what I mean? Deflecting palm is interesting, but we're giving them a bunch of one ones. So you know, like if if they happen to have a three power creature, then it's just it's just worse than a lightning bolt. Yeah, blood artist plus board wipe is just not the same. Like where you guys are changing the entire theme of the deck, unfortunately. Like it's a fog deck that wins through Batwing Broom and Rakdos Charm. That's that's what we're playing. So I do like the the deal one. There's a white two mana fog that cycles. Is that better than the other ones? I don't know. Let me look it up. Let me look up the fogs. White, black. Or, oh, uh, Angel Song. Yeah, yeah, um, I don't, I don't know if that's better than Dawn Charm. Like, what if we're, if we're cycling that, like, what's the point of, like, what are we looking for? Like, we actually want fogs, and I'd rather have a fog that's versatile, like regenerative creature, which we don't have, or counter a spell that targets us, which is relevant. Angel's Grace is a little more narrow. Torment of Hailfire, when we have 22 lands, again, not great. I don't know, I don't know what that's going to do.
Yeah, we do only have a couple changes to make. Well, like that's, I mean, we're, we only do have a couple changes to make. I'm not, I'm not claiming we don't. Uh, our changes are either add Phyrexian Arena or Ensnaring Bridge or Dark Confidant. Those are the changes we can make. Yeah, Howling Wine is just worse than, than Arena. <sighs> Although I like, I mean, if you play Bridge, I really like Sleep Bridge, and I think it's great because then they can't attack with the Sleep Bridge and you give them. Nope, Ghostly Prison doesn't work. We want them to actually attack. That's what the whole point of Batwing Groom is. We're not trying to get them to not attack. We're trying to get them to attack us, and then we kill them with the Batwing Broom when they have like 18, 19 creatures out. And if we're going to play Ghostly Prism, we're just going to play Ensnaring Bridge instead, because we, we hold one card, they attack with all the 1-1s, one and then we Batwing Broom them. With Ensnaring Bridge, you can control when they can attack, which is very nice. Season of the Witch? Is that a card? I don't even know what that does. This is a dark card. This isn't even legal in modern. <laughs> what? Yeah, but then they just don't. Even if this was legal and modern for some reason, uh, they just not a. They just don't. They just choose not to attack with all the creatures we give them, so that they they're. We already I already mentioned deflecting palm. You guys are the worst. This is this is not going well. How can you make a suggestion if you're not sure how the deck works? <laughs> oh, love it. Pillory does kind of loosely fit the theme, but dealing with one creature for, for three mana is not really where you want to be. Yeah, getting five mana Gideon Jura is not where you want to be. Plus, they're already going to be attacking anyway. I don't care about utility lands, though. The, the utility lands aren't necessary. Our plan is too linear. Like, I don't care about having a, a one random shambling vent or, like, a bajuka bog like i just don't think they do as much i like you, you if you're not getting forbidden orchards with these you're probably not winning the game uh this is not this is not inspired by that at all this is a deck i played uh from a viewer that was submitted uh several months ago and this is an updated version Oh my god, Bitter Blossom actually kills us when we have Rakdos Charm. Literally, Rakdos Charm deals us two damage for every for every Bitter Blossom token. Like, we take one from it coming into play, and one from it... Uh... I don't like Dark Confident only because I'm going to put in Arena. I'm going to add two Arenas. I'm going to take out Sleeper Agents. And I'm going to try it like that. This was a long discussion, so hopefully you guys on YouTube are still with us. Apologies for uh, the duration of that, but we had to flesh out these ideas. <sighs> hmm. This hand is pretty bad. Although if they play the for for an Orchard, our Vesuva is very good. That's That's a hand. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to bottom that. We don't need that right now. I'm actually just going to go get... Oh, well, here we go. I don't think we have a way to beat Scape Shift until we sideboard, unfortunately. I mean, if we're switching... Um, if we're switching life totals, then I'll play Bitter Blossom and Rakdos Charm. Yep. I 
Let's try not to go to 18 here. That's actually pretty okay. I don't really want to give them sleeper agent because it's just lightning bolts. I don't actually know if I like the sleeper agent. I think it's good. I think it's a good strategy with the ensnaring bridge, but if we're just playing Frexian Arena, I don't think it's as good. For obvious reasons. Riot Control could actually be hilarious in this matchup. I'm not going to start giving them guys until we have way more guys. to Until we have way more fogs to, to cast here. Uh, Pro, Tour, Pro Tour Cube starts tomorrow. It's always on Wednesdays. Are they going to attack first just to put us down to 18? That would be pretty funny. Nope, guess not. My opponent's like, why do you have multiple Forbidden Orchards in play? I don't understand. Prismatic Amino. Sleeper agent. Maybe we just give them two sleeper agents here. Uh, deflecting palm does not counter scape shift. It's like scape shift doesn't deal you any damage. Valakut, indiv 18 individual Valakut triggers deal you damage, so you can actually, you can deflect one. <laughs> you can be like, I'll prevent three damage, and then, uh, then you die to the rest. Yeah, Riot Control stops it because it says prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. Oh, Channel Harm was literally... I thought you guys were just making a joke. I forgot that was an actual card. My bad. Six mana? Yeah, I don't think we can do that. This is a this is a 22 land deck. I don't, like, I don't foresee us getting to six mana as frequently as this. Also, maybe a one of. Like, that is actually pretty strong. If damage is prevented this way, you may have channel harm deal. The problem is, like, I don't feel like... <sighs> Alright, that's actually pretty okay. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I only want to play one here, though, because we want to have enough mana for riot control and... Actually, I'm not going to be able to counter it, right? Oh, we want to have Haze and Riot Control mana up. We Haze the counters, gain the things, do the stuff. All right, always yield to that. I'm never going to respond to the trigger, so just, just, let's just do the thing. I'm giving you all of these sleeper agents. Our opponent's like, what are you even doing right now, my friend? Lightning Bolt. Oh, wow, they're killing their own sleeper agents. My god. If you see sleeper agent in modern, you're like, there's some shenanigans going on. I'm just going to kill these sleeper agents on the spot. Oh, look at this guy. I 
I don't hate Ruined Halo. That's actually not bad. And it keeps the creatures on the board. I mean, it does prevent them from attacking you. Yeah, this is pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we actually have to... We actually have to do this now. I was hoping they would just shape scape shift. Shape shift. Scape shift. Yeah, we really have to deal with this Primeval Titan, though. <laughs> yeah, you go. You kill that Sleeper Agent. You got it. The one thing I don't like about Sleeper Agent is that it turns on their removal. You know what I mean? I think we can actually cut the Sleeper Agents. I, I like them, but, like, it's the same thing with Dark Confidant, where, like, if we have no creatures we either to give them or to play, they have nothing to do with, like, Fatal Pushes uh, and things of that nature. So, yeah, I think we're just dead here. They activate this guy. They put two more fetch lands into play. They're both mountains. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. All right. We are going to play Anguished Unmaking. We're going to take the Sleeper Agents out. It also lets us play more arenas. Uh, I like Rakdos Charm idea a lot, though. That's pretty sweet. Probably Ley Lines here. I think we just take out when when a situation like this happens, we just take out one set of Dawn Charm actually counters Scape Shift if they have that. We can add the other anguished and just take out like Ethereal Haze. All damage that we dealt by creatures is actually better than combat damage, so we can actually just take out. This deck would be busted against... Well, they could tap your stuff down, so as long as you can prevent that from happening, I think you're okay. I'm going to keep this hand reluctantly. If we hit any land, we're good. The problem is, without a Forbidden Orchard... If we hit a Forbidden Orchard off the top, that would be absolutely insane. We just go Curse into Vesuva, copy the Forbidden Orchard... That is not it, nor is it any good. Actually, we could have copied Valka, but that doesn't do anything. Oh, Dawn Charm doesn't counter Scape Shift. You're right. I thought it was... I, yeah, I that's, that's completely correct. I forgot about that. Neon Tokyo Rain, that is a weird question, buddy. <laughs> uh, what is Neon Tokyo Rain anyway? That's what I'm curious about. Oh, look at this. They played a Rex Sage to kill my Trespassers curse. Did they even see any... I guess they could assume Leyline would come in. I don't know. Makes sense. Can't really fault it. Joke's on you, buddy. I had multiples. You'll never keep my curse down.
All right, well, we can really use some more lands here. This is why we don't play uh, four, five, and six drops in the deck because you have 22 lands. If you hit six mana, it's going to happen. You're getting lucky. If you don't, that's pretty normal. Sweltering Suns. Also makes sense because they saw a bunch of 1 1s. Isn't there a card that deals your opponent damage every time they attack you with something? Advanced. Uh, damage. Attacks, white, red, black, search. I think it would be an enchantment, right? So we're going to look for enchantments. Circle of Flame deals damage to them, or to the creature, rather. I don't think we actually care about that coming into play untapped here. Oh, Blood Reckoning, four damage. Good lord, why is not showing up? I mean, that ain't bad. But four mana is a lot. Yeah, usually if it's in the Duretti, uh if they're in the commander decks, they're usually not legal. Kissing Miasma, I kind of like. I think we just lose here. Because we didn't put this into play untapped. Well, that's pretty sad. Parental combat damage, parental combat damage, parental combat damage. Oh, it's a pleasure escape shift. Alright, yeah, sleep bridge just doesn't do enough, and it turns on their things, unfortunately. I don't hate Rune Halo, but the problem is Rune Halo doesn't make them attack, and we want them to attack with Batwing Broom. Right? So if you name, like, something like Valakut, I think it's good for the sideboard. Um... Also, Hissing Miasma might deter them from attacking. It's 
had one more arena. No, don't do that. Do I only have two arenas? That's stupid. God, I never have enough arenas. What are these going for? Do I just buy one of these? Three tickets? My god. What about this guy? Three tickets also? What about this guy? This is a good one. Five tickets? What about this one? The actual good one. Oh, 332. That's, that's better than all. What about this one? Oh, $13. Yeah, that's not happening. All right, we're just going to borrow. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to borrow two for now just so I have them in case I don't have to come back. Yeah, if you... um. If you play Hissing Miasma, you want to play like also Gideon, and then you're just changing the deck because you're adding a bunch more things. You cannot borrow foil cards. Well, that's restrictive, isn't it? I guess we'll just grab... I'm just going to grab a bunch of these then. I'm not going to have mismatched ones, I'm sorry. All right, so three of these. I'm gonna play one more map because I want to be able to hit Forbidden Orchards and lands. Ruined Halo. I don't have. Oh yeah, I do have two right now. That's nice. The problem with Dark Confidant, which we which we did address, is that it turns on their removal. Right now we have no targets for Fatal Push, Lightning Bolt, uh, name it. You 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 can pick whatever you want. Um, the problem is once you add Dark Confidant or even Sleeper Agent, you turn on all of their removal. So the cards that were stranded in their hand now have targets. So. All right. So. Probably want to add another ley line. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's fine. All right, let's try again. I think the first match was very, very close. I think the second match we was probably not great for us. Oh, uh, I don't like Howling Mine at all. I think it's significantly worse than Phyrexian Arena because you're giving them cards. And for every card you give them, you need another card as well. All right? So if you draw one Fog, they're just drawing more creatures. Like, or more whatever. Like, so I don't know. I just think Phyrexian Arena is probably going to be better. Maybe. Maybe you don't care, though. I don't know. Little Narnian, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will keep this hand. I keep I keep keeping these uh, one landers with a Vesuva, and I not I don't love them. Uh this seems like a pretty good matchup for us. Interestingly enough. Funny thing is, we can actually. Um, Play Vesuva and copy their mountain if we really need it for Rakdos. It's Rakdos Charm. This is where they take a second to read. They're like, hold on, let me see what this does. Okay, got it. Oh man, do we have a good matchup against eight whack decks? Show me all your wax. Give me that. Give me that life. I guess we'll take four here. Is 
Is it just mountain? I don't think so. No, definitely not going to pay two life for that. I don't think we care about Rakdos Charm as much right now. If we don't have Forbidden Orchard, we're probably not going to be casting Rakdos Charm. You got it. I don't think we prevent three here. Yeah, I don't care about that. You guys can have first strike and trample. I'm not gonna. Give me an orchard one time. It's gonna be an expedition. It's neither of the things that I predicted. This matchup seems great for us. I can dream about you. What do we got? An almond cat, an Ixalan, and a full art almond cat. This is not. This is not the. Uh, the ideal configuration of, of swamp of uh, mount mounties why did I play arena there I totally forgot to play arena God, I'm not very good at this game Well, we're definitely using this to prevent five. Goblin Grenade's a little bit too scary for me. Too scary for me. Oh boy, that was a good one. That was a good one. So we're gonna go this. Get your get your dudes. Get your get your dude bros. Then we can keep up Haze or Holy Day. Holy Day! It feels so nice. It feels a holy day. You guys remember that song? Lightning Bolt. Okay, I'll take it. Bushwhacker with Surge Cost. Deal. Hmm. I accept. Take a point. You got to take damage to make damage. That's what I always say. Ooh, interesting. One, two, Cursums. Yeah, this game feels over. Oh god, you're gonna are you gonna Okay. Whatever you gotta do, buddy. Gotta ask, did we win that one yesterday, the simulation? Yes, we went we went six we went three oh in our draft yesterday. One do you even dude bro book? <laughs> oh, Kerwin, you're the best. Zaxor, seven months in a row. It's your boy. Um I'm going to gain two and go to nine and hope your last two cards are not. Uh, what do you call it? Goblin grenades? Like two goblin grenades go? No blockers. I don't have any creatures. Thank you for, for asking me to declare blockers, though. Sacred Foundry. Trespassers curse number thrice? Ooh, we go to 11 here? Ooh, it's getting hot in here, boys. Huh. 
Have yourself a merry little Christmas. One, two, three, four, five. We make six guys, right? Oh, if they play a dude. This. This is how it ends, my friends. Actually, it might not end this way. So here's what happens, right? They have one, two, three, four, five, six. We can make a seventh guy for them, and then we can Rakdos charm them, which put them to seven, puts them to zero. But then they sacrifice this guy in response. And then we take one, and then all other guys still kill us. So we're not going to do that. Oh, but they take three from the Trespassers' curses. So I think we can just kill them. I can't imagine a scenario where they can deal 11 at instant speed. So I'm going to add a red here. Let me make sure this is correct. Each creature deals one damage to its controller. I guess we do the same thing with Broom, right? Oh man, this deck is gas when it works, dude. It's like the best deck ever when it works. You're like, wow, I just dealt you a million damage with your own little idiots. If they have Skullcrack, Batwing Broom is worse. No, it's not. They still take the damage. The, the problem is, there's a, not the problem, but the, the confusion comes a lot, uh, around because there's a lot of intricacies in the deck that you aren't always familiar with. One inappropriately early Christmas carol. Wow, that was inappropriately early. Wow. That's awkward. Why was he singing that? I don't know. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And we won this game. All right. So I don't care about Leyline just because they don't have that many things that target us. It's probably just going to be... Uh, little broomies, little, uh, little, little goblin grenades, granadas, which we can actually dawn charm. That we can dawn charm. All right, whatever. How does our deck deal with planeswalkers? Uh, who cares? What? Who like what? What planeswalker do we actually care about in modern? Liliana is like probably the most problematic planeswalker, but we have anguished and making in the sideboard. We also have um, ley lines, so I'm not too concerned with it. Is it Frank Miss Eve already? One Frank Miss Eve buck. It's your boy Kerwit. Why is this so loud? Have yourself a merry little Kerwit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Be mine. From now on, your Kerwits will be out of sight. All right, we're gonna crack this guy. I'm just gonna get a land here. We have nothing to cast, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the deed. Oh God, don't, don't, ar don't archive trap me, bro. I watch, I like, I donate. Little Narnia, thank you so much, buddy. For, really appreciate it for the sub and the donation. Um, <laughs> I, I cannot subscribe to a more simple uh, and fulfilling life, life strategy. Oh, I like it. Batwing broom. When there's trouble, you can call BW. Batwing broom. Let's get dangerous. It's from Darkwing Duck. I don't know if you guys remember Darkwing Duck. If every day is Chicken Sunday, then every day is also Chicken Sunday Eve. Oh my god. Have you heard of the innocent child playing VR chat and his quote, do good, die great? When? No, I have no idea what that is. What are you saying right now, Matthew Ari? Sometimes Matthew Ari, you tell stories and I'm like, I have no idea what you're saying right now. I think, I think you're drunk, Matthew Ari. Do we take six here? This seems like a broom turn, right? I'd rather take one. And prevent all damage. Six is a good amount. The reason I'm preventing six is because... Uh, ordinarily, these guys are only going to deal three or four. And I'd much rather take that over the course of several turns than, you know, significantly more than that. It's, what is this? What is going on here? Once upon a time, there was oh my god, I'm going to save this because it's five minutes and it's too long for me to just watch right now. But, you know, 
We'll give it a we'll give it a look. A little looky loo. Everybody knows what I'm talking about except you. <laughs> Everybody knows. How many views does this video have? Six hundred thousand? Okay, I'll give you that. I'm trying to figure out the best land to play here. It could be Orchard, we just make a guy. It depends on if we're... Yeah, it's gotta be Orchard. We're gonna start making making the, making the dudes. You think that's the wrong video? Really? Little kid is too innocent for VR chat. That sounds exactly like the correct video. But 10 out of 10 would buy Frank's Last Supper. That sounds amazing. Also... So I brought this up to Mike yesterday, and his concern was that we wouldn't be able to fit all of the... We, we, need, we would need more people, right? Because there's not enough mics. But then maybe you just make it a smaller a smaller group. Like, you cut it off at the... You cut off the edges, so that maybe everybody fits on the... On the shirt. Mm, five, one, two, three, four, five. We can deal them ten. I think we're just going to Dawn Charm here. There's a longer version than this 10 minute version? Woo! Or five minute version? What? That's crazy. Don't forget chat, Mike. That'll take up lots of room. Wow. Wow. We're just going to play this. I'd rather have four lands uh, than play one of these two right now. What if I just have the bit... What if I just have a shirt with the bit donation face on it? Would you, would you, would you just buy that? <laughs> oh, boy. One orchard gentleman, doll. <laughs> Give, me one of these. Give me one of these orchard gentlemen's. Like it was just a shirt with that Mike B face on it. You guys would be okay with that? <laughs> that sounds hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to deal six next turn. Unless they play some hasty boys. Oh man, Tequila Mike Drunk was definitely lit. It was bad. Oh, it's we're gonna save these for last because obviously they'll have the most creatures at the latest point we cast them. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We gotta wait till like a ten, right? Well, then we can actually play both in the same turn, right? And then just kill them on the spot if they have ten. One, take my money, Buck. That's a good one. Actually, it should be Fry. Oh, what if I make the? Oh, I should make the Fry gif. The, uh, the donation gift, huh? That sounds good. Oh, we're changing that. I'm gonna write down shirt ideas, so give me some shirt ideas. I actually have an, an Evernote document that says, uh... Where is it? I don't know where it went. It's got stream quotes in it, so... Make... Take my money... Fry donation gift. All right, let's do that. Is he still hungover? No, he's not currently hungover. Thankfully. Oh, now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually give them two guys right now and just hope they attack with them and then we can just tend them. That'd be amazing, right? 
I think we have to wait another turn, though, just because if they sack these guys to deal us two, it's really bad. We have no reason not to do this, though. Here you go. Have some more spicy little gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god, I'll make sure this is we are all chat, Mike. Oh man. Really? This guy's not coming in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I like the nine. That's actually clever. You old you old clever biscuit, you. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. I don't know if the deck wants Shambling Vent. Like, I don't think that it comes in play tapped, but then again, it's just a guy that just deals some damage sometimes, maybe. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Why are you leaving this one guy back, man? He just wants to hang out. Black and white. Get broomed on. Boop. Boop. You a two boy? Kill him. Kill him. Having a good time. Do 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 do. Buddy Lee, thank you so much for saying so. I appreciate that. That is all I could ever ask for. Negative 10. That's the old Gotham. I like this configuration. I think Phyrexian Arena is good. Shambling Vent, we could, I could see us adding like two Shambling Vents. But they'd have to take over for like planes, I think. Or maybe like one god of the shrine. This deck should be called Quit Hitting Yourself. Black, white, quit hitting yourself. So what's our distribution right now of colors? We have fewer black cards, but we do have double black cards. So I think it's actually even. 4, 8, 12, 16. And then 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18. We do have more black. Oh, one shirt buck. The thing is, like, putting the designs up in the store actually costs nothing, I think. Like, you just order it, they print it, and then it, sell, it sells, right? One shirt buck. Yay, a vent. <laughs> Let's give them one little venti. All right, we'll try this. I feel like sick of M19 is a little too topical. You're probably going to want something that's more... Uh, that survives. 
you want to you want to wear something that in like 10 years you'll be like okay i can still wear this shirt and it's still funny because it's vintage now that's what you really want Venti is a large, large and in charge, if you know what I mean. Do you? Nobody does. I like to wait until someone else is in the queue. If anyone, if everyone else follows the same strategy, though, then it doesn't work. Uh, I would definitely consider going on limited resources as a guest, but I don't see why Marshall or, or Luis would invite me on there. I'm pretty obscure. Like, I'm not really, like, on their radar as a limited guy. Or as a guest, for that matter. But, I mean, like, saying, would you ever consider doing this? Like, it's like being like, hey, if you ever got... Uh, an opportunity to win the World Series of Poker. Would you ever consider that? I'm like, yeah, of course I would consider it. But it's not up to me to consider that, you know? Like, it's not really, like... It's not like I have the opportunity and I'm just... You're just waiting for me to consider it before it comes to fruition. Like, that doesn't really... Oh, we're playing against Bug Tots. <laughs> That's a great name. This hand's pretty good. Oh, I'm sure they know who I am. Yes, I mean, me and Luis played in the top in the playing for top eight at Pro Tour Oath of the Gate Watch, and me and Marshall have done coverage together. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure they they know who I am. Yeah. Lotus Bloom, eh? Yeah, again, Riot Control seems pretty good here. Can this deck beat a Riot Control? Alrighty then. Pernicious dude, you're 6'4? Oh my god, that's really creepy, dude. So, how do we deal with Lab Maniac? Is that. I don't even think that's a card that's frequently played in this deck. I have never seen a Laboratory Maniac cast in Modern. Let's put it that way. Well, Mike is a is a is a fearsome dude.
One lab man. <laughs> Stop calling him lab man. Oh god. I'm your lab man, your lab man. Turn me on. Angel's grace. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that one's gone. All right. Yep. Boop. Oh, I guess they could have packed of negation, right? And there it is. All right. That's brutal. Yep. Pretty sure we're dead. If we had one more land. Two Men and a Baby? Is that the name of the new show? Killed Yourself. Good. That's very good. That's very helpful. You have you have next leveled the chat. Good game. Thank you so much for the five months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. What's up, lab man? All right. Well, hmm. Yeah, you can, you can stop wasting your time now. All right. Well, that's rough. We'll bring in this guy. Bring in these. Bring in a ruined halo. That seems good. Bring in this dark confidant. I'm bringing all these things. Our whole sideboard's coming in. We're taking out dealt by creatures, dealt by creatures. We're taking out all of these. Dawn Charm and Riot Control are still good. Um, take out one of each of. Actually, the Rakdos Charm is good because you can destroy their artifacts. It does, but they have like four pack of negations, so I don't foresee us resolving that. I'd rather them just not see a Riot Control than. Assume they're not going to cast one of their multiple Pact of Negations in hand. Keep them. Watch, we're going to draw Expedition Map now that we have Stony Silence. Let's get a Sacred Foundry. Now we have double white and double black and a red. Oh, two Lotus Blooms? Gas. Less gas now. Okay. Not a hard choice. You just take the Sony Silence. They're going to show you all the cards that are revealed here. So you don't have to, you don't have to write them down. You just take it. Just take the Sony Silence. It's the only relevant card. There you go. Hmm. Still a chance we can draw one next turn. We got two cards. We can also kill one during the upkeep, which is possible. But I don't think that does anything. I mean, they'll still have at least six mana. Sure. 
Yep, now you take the ride control. It's all very academic. I mean, theoretically, we could have ride controlled in response to their ad nauseum. Um, but A, they could just draw until they're not dead. Like, they still go to one. They just draw all the cards they need, and then they refill their hand. So it's not super orchard. I know they're right. That's actually pretty good. All right. Not not bad. It's not bad. Oh, uh, I don't know if I want to exploit Mike for the sake of my stream is the thing. That's the problem. Like, I don't want Mike to be like, uh, hey, the guy that gets drunk and you guys, and like everybody laughs because it's like, it is funny. Like, he does funny stuff when he's drunk, but like, I don't want that to be the centerpiece of. They have no cards in hand? Well, this is fascinating. I mean, Mike has a full-time job, so it's real hard to have a Mike Twitch channel. Also, Mike is not, like, Mike is not as entertaining by himself, right? Like, like Mike is not the kind of guy that's going to sit there and stream and be funny and entertaining and, like, insightful, like, about a game uh, without, like, someone to play off of or without someone prompting him. He's just a quieter guy. Like, you can you can see that in a lot of streams where I'm like, hey, man, you Okay. Hey, what do you think about that? We, you know, like I'll always cue him. I'll always try to prompt him and like get a response out of him for those reasons. But yeah, like he's generally just a, a quieter guy. All right, got one card in hand. That's obnoxious, but... I'm just gonna ride control here. Because they have three simian spirit guides, so they go spirit guide, spirit guide, spirit guide, lightning thing. So this is your hand. You can get Laboratory Maniac, but I don't see how you play at this. Oh, you have Lotus Bloom, so you just actually get lo like lab, lab Maniac and Lotus Bloom. You get three blue, you slide it. Yeah, this is actually insane. This deck is very resilient. Where's the Laboratory Maniac? They boarded out? What in the hell? <laughs> Where did the laboratory maniac go? Fascinating. What in the hell? I don't understand. I don't actually know how we beat a Laboratory Maniac, though. That's the problem. All 
All right, let's try this again. That's fine. Uh, he only had three mana, except for the fact that he had a bunch of Simeon Spirit Guides in hand. So you actually crack Lotus Bloom for three, for three blue, use two of the blue and the Simeon Spirit Guide to play Laboratory Maniac, use the reigning blue to play Serum Vision. It's not that hard. No thought sees. Not a thought sees. Not a thought sees. Oh boy, boos. Give it a bop, do do do. All right. Probably just getting a godless shrine here. Bat wing broom. When there's trouble, you can call DW. Probably just going to play Frexing Arena here. I feel pretty safe, all things considered. I mean, there's no way. Like, this is one of the quicker combo decks. There's no way I'm conceding with Nauseam on the stack. Never happening. I mean, I'll let people play out, like, Crack Clan Ironworks to see if you whiff, because the deck is actually complicated. This is definitely not a deck where I'm going to, like... Well, that's unfortunate, but... Reasonable, I think. No... They only have three lands, which is nice. It means they haven't hit a land drop in a turn. They might whiff again. Yep. Well, that man has a creature. They were scared you'd use it against them. But we take an extra point from Rakdos Charm. Oh, no. If we end up beating this ad nauseum list, I'm going to feel pretty good about it. Uh, after game two, we're probably just going to kill this with ad nauseum on the stack. Oh, I like a Dark Confidant here, but how much damage are we really going to want to take here? Not a ton. They do run Pact of Negation, that is correct. But they seem to have boarded it out last game, so... Actually, maybe we should have played Bob. I don't know. Like, it's kind of scary. Riot Control, we have no we have no life to gain there. I'd feel better about Dark Confound if we had, like, a Forbidden Orchard out. Maybe? I mean, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lands out of 22. Which means there's still 14 in the deck. Out of 44, our odds of hitting lands are one third. Not really odds I love, especially when we're already taking one a turn anyway.
Let's name Lightning Storm. <laughs> I'll name Lab Man. <laughs> Look out, it's Lab Man. Burder, -der 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 -der. This is this Pentad Prism? Nope. Ad nauseum. Nope. Simeon Spirit Guide first. Okay. Okay. I'll be dead here. I mean, if they have Pact Mitigation, we die, right? Ad nauseum. We don't care about Lightning Storm. All we care about is Laboratory Maniac. So. Yep. Alright. Let's see if you boarded it back in, I guess. How do you cast? Oh, I guess you can go double swimming spirit guide, but they only have one blue. So how do you draw a card here? I don't see how they win here, but maybe I, I mean, I could be crazy. Like because of Stony Silence, like if they go three swimming spirit guides, that gives them four mana, which means they can cast. Do they have a mana morphos? I'm not seeing it. Well, that's their whole deck. So now you go Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide, Lab Maniac. Lightning Storm is not an option because of... Huh, land. Got it. Play the land for the turn. Prism in Hand doesn't do anything because we have Sony Silence for the same reason. Yep, must be nice. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, modern is a hell of a format. Angel's Grace upkeep would work, but then like the next turn we can just kill their anguished on making, right? Like, don't they just lose? Oh boy. Modern is a fun and interactive format. This is why I like vintage and legacy better. <laughs> I don't even like legacy better. I like vintage better. Either way. Hopefully this was uh, an interesting experiment. I still like this deck. I still think this is like a super fun to play. Um, my only concern is getting Forbidden Orchard frequently enough. And we have three expedition maps. We also have Phyrexian Arena to make sure we up our odds of hitting it. We only have two cards in the deck that cost three or more. Um... I don't know. Like I, every time I sat down with this deck, I wasn't terribly uncomfortable with it. We beat we beat eight rack. Uh, we were very close to beating ad nauseum. We were very close to beating uh, the the control deck. They just happened to have three counter spells at the time. And uh, other than that, I think I think we had a lot of very very close matches. And I think the deck is actually pretty reasonable, which is surprising because every time Cody every time Swamp Dog submits this deck to me, uh, he presents it as like I know this is a hilarious deck. I know it's not going to be super competitive, but it seems like it's fun and it's hilarious to just troll people with fogs. And I agree completely. I think it's a, a completely hilarious deck to play. And I also don't think it's terrible. Like if I sat down with this at like a uh, local uh, modern event or something, uh, I wouldn't actually feel like I didn't have a chance. And uh, I think that's pretty important. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to have your own deck critiqued by me and run through some matches and uh, given feedback, all that jazz, you can check me out on uh, Patreon or Twitch. Both of those are links are in the description down below. And you can also find out how to do how to do that in the description. So be sure to check that out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.